my name is Kiana, aka Kiana211, and today is a special type of video. For those of you who may or may not know, last year on October 3rd, I uploaded my first video on this channel, and oh my gosh, it seems like it was just yesterday. I can't believe a year has already passed by, it just seems so insane to see how much this channel has grown and just so many of you guys have subscribed to me I think 18 of you are subscribed to me right now and that just is very insane and I can't even comprehend it when I first started this YouTube channel I never would have imagined that I would have gotten as far as I did I can't even believe it's been a year already since I first started and uploaded my first video which was a would you rather video and it was a Halloween edition Hi everyone, my name is Kiana, aka Kiana211, and welcome to my first main channel YouTube video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'll be doing a Would You Rather type video, but with a twist because since it is October and it is Halloween, I decided to do for every other week in this month something Halloween related. A year has passed and nothing has changed with how much I love making videos for you guys. And for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, or even just clicked on one of my videos because you saw potential in me and my videos. I want to say thank you because it really does mean a lot to me. I never would have imagined in a million years that my channel would have gone this far, even in a year. To have 18 of you watching my videos is just so surreal. It's speechless. I can't believe 18 of you are here right now because you guys saw potential in my channel, in me, or you're just entertained, or anything like that, whatever the reason being for subscribing to my channel, it really does mean a lot to me, and I can never thank you guys enough for all that you do for me, because you all do more than you guys probably even know. I do love making videos on here on YouTube as a hobby, but it's you guys who make it that much better. To know that I'm potentially making someone smile or entertaining somebody out there whom I probably don't even know. It's just so amazing. It's such an amazing feeling. And I hope that my videos, or even just one of my videos, ended up making you smile or made your day even better. Because that's what I want to do this for. I do love making videos, as I said before, but it's a bonus if I can make you guys smile and laugh on days when you don't want to. And I'm not doing videos for subscribers and likes. It's, it's amazing to see my channel grow over the year. It's amazing. But I'm not doing this for the numbers. I'm not doing this for likes. And yes, in my videos at the end of them, I do say, like if you enjoyed this video or something along those lines. But I guess I, I do that. And I guess some other YouTubers may do that as well, just because it's kind of an instinct to do. But just because like I mentioned like my videos if you like it it doesn't mean that you have to it's just like something that just comes out casually but just know just you clicking on my videos even if it's just a couple of seconds of your time watching my videos it does mean a lot to me so thank you so to celebrate the one year anniversary of this channel I decided to bake a cake what I originally wanted to do was to write Happy Channel Anniversary, Can't You 11, or something along those lines. But unfortunately, the little decorative ink thing which you'll see very soon in this video, and other footage that I'm going to put into this, it was fairly small, and I couldn't finish writing the words on the cake because there wasn't enough decorative ink, icing, whatever it's called, to write the whole thing on, so I just kind of spread it on the cake and it became like a reddish pinkish color but you'll see what I mean in the footage that will play very soon I just wanted to celebrate this amazing day with you guys and the main reason why this is possible is because of you
comments from all of my previous videos over the past year and hopefully you guys enjoy the moments that I did pick out for you guys. It was kind of hard for certain ones. Some of them had more interesting moments than other videos, but I wanted to get at least one moment from each of my videos to kind of show how far this channel has grown. Also as well to see how my recording and camera work has gone because I know in my first DIY video which was the witch hat cookies like I thought when recording it like the camera work was going to be okay but when I was editing it the camera work was so bad <laughs> but I did salvage it to make a video obviously so even though the camera work wasn't the best it's still better than nothing I think and I did try my best so here are the moments that I chose from all my previous videos over the year, and I hope you guys enjoy. I would definitely eat the six fish eyeballs over the small frog. I feel like that would be easier to kind of swallow, because for a small frog or a toad, you most likely have to chew it in order to swallow it, but like fish eyeballs are only like maybe that big. So you don't have to really chew it, you can just swallow it whole and then not really taste anything. Which is the third step, you're going to take the Hershey Kisses, unwrap it, and place it to the side. Open your frosting, and take your butter knife, and place it in the middle of your cookie, like so. Then once that's done, you just place your Hershey Kiss right in the middle. But it's a really simple recipe treat to do with your kids to give out for Halloween. Just make sure they're peanut free, of course. And yeah, so I hope you- I can't remember like, a really specific scary Halloween that made me really scared, but I guess the scariest one would have been when I was in grade 8 and me and my friend Katie when we were trick-or-treating in the neighborhood. There was this guy who had a chainsaw. I don't know if it was real or not. It was probably real. But I was approaching him, he ended up running towards us. At the end it was more funny than scary, but that was the scariest Halloween that I can think of at the moment. <laughs> Okay, enough. Can you even see it? No, I'm kidding. I don't know what it is. And as you can see, I am <laughs> 18, 18, 17. I go either by myself, <clears throat> which sounds pretty sad, but I guess it could still be fun. Or I could go with a friend like my dear friend Vicky if she would be into that, which I think she probably would be. And she's texting me right now. <laughs> Tony Box Chin, come stare at the video! Iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water. So I'm sure my siblings can agree with this. We've been very fortunate with the Christmas gifts we received over the year. But I can't really think of what my best Christmas gifts are would be because I'm very thankful for them all. But two which stand out to me would be Court's Party for the PSP and my 16 GB iPod Nano. The reason why I chose these two was because I'm obsessed with the Court's Party series. You can't see it because the camera's cutting it off, but I have a Court's Party poster up there. And the 16 GB iPod Nano I love because I love listening to music. I can't go a day without listening to any type of music. So these two are definitely the top contenders for best Christmas presents. That would be one of my cats. Hey, Pebbles. <gasps> Merry Christmas. And then, oh. So here's the fifth of the pets I have. That's Miley. Hi, Miley. Have a kiss. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, Cooper. Me a carving of Charlie Box Tim in my pumpkin for Halloween. And instead of using Movie Maker, and I can't add the photo on the screen, I'll just add it in the next slide. I bought a five year memory journal. I'm still for storytellers was uploaded on YouTube. I saw a family album and trifle performed at Pirate Secondary School. Question number two, bookmark or a random piece of paper? I just usually use what's around me, whether it's a piece of paper, a bookmark, or a random object. For example, the most recent book that I got was Echo Castle in the Mist by Miyoki Miyab, and I'm using a bookmark. But for this manga that I'm reading, which is Doubt by Yoshiki Tonegi, I'm actually using an SD card that I had laying around. So yeah, I just usually use anything for bookmarks, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it can bookmark my place, then it's all good. Okay, let's do a dare. Lick your own nose. So for the record, I can't lick my own nose. I try multiple times, but for you guys, I will show you and make a fool out of myself. Three, two, one. Memory Drive 2014 and What to Expect on my channel video, you already know this. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box down below in case you're interested. But the fifth fact is that I can pray behind my back, which I will show you right now. I think my reaction says it all to this picture if you play along. Well, the name's in here, so you can just look at this character. I can't say much or I'll spoil things. Question number three. If you bump into Kazami, he asks you if you're okay and, and helps you up to your feet, what would you do? Thank him, then quickly goes away from there. I think it means like, you thank him and then you just leave. I think that's what they're trying to say. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Dang, he's hot. Since he looks strong, you ask him if he could be with you until you find your friends, or he doesn't really seem sober. Run away from there. See, this is hard because I beat the game and I've seen the anime series, so I know the outcome. Okay, definitely not the hot comic, because I don't care how attractive you may be. It's... I can't say much without <laughs> spoiling it. Oh, okay. Well, since I already know the character, I would thank him and then go as far away as possible from him, so I would choose the first one. He's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Think you just can use me? In fact, the other way around. Ladies, push them way down. Do it to me, boy. Don't do that. Don't do that anymore. Rick, can you go down and explore? Tell you once more. Now your mind knows escape this time. Do you feel that chill running up your spine? Don't look twice, I won't play nice. It's finally time for you to pay the price. Walk with me through the woods, you'll see a lovely playground for you and me. And at this time, I'm in your mind, not so different, you and I. There's two hallways, you're forced in qualities, your body is breaking and soon to mine. Come back to the school where my children play, now be a good boy, come right this way. Do you think you've been through hell? Just wait till you're locked inside my cell. You can pray, you can pray to the Pope, just pray that you don't drop the soap.
532 channels right now. So I think I'll do pretty well in this quiz. But I have a feeling that there might be like a couple of YouTubers that I will not know the names of and I'll probably have to just do process uh, and I'll just have to end up doing process of elimination to end up getting the right answer. Oh. <laughs> okay. See, I told you I had a feeling that this is gonna be one of the people who I wouldn't know if I have to do process of elimination. Brittany Louise Taylor, Zoella, or Tanya Burr. I think this answers the question. Yeah, I'm so scared to everybody except for Will. Oh. Never mind this person I'm not subscribed to. Um, okay. Again, process of elimination. I know who this is. It's either Promise Fan, Pro, Pro, Promise. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's, oh, it's Promise. But it's probably something more than that. Or not. I don't know. I'm just going to say Promise. I'm sorry if it's wrong. So, hi. Oh my, why is my voice going so weird? <laughs> So I think I should know it's her if it's fine. <laughs> so I'm okay, focus. Focus. Why aren't you focusing? I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for checking out my channel and clicking that subscribe button thinking that me and my channel was worth subscribing to. It really does mean a lot to me. And currently I have 15 subscribers. I don't know if it will change by the time I get home or not because I checked it last time before I went up to the cottage. So last Saturday, Sunday, somewhere along those lines. But regardless whether it changes or not, I just wanted to say thank you all for subscribing to me. As I said, it really does mean a lot to me. And there was one comment in particular that kind of made it very surreal for me. I believe her username is Sabrina the Challenger, 
what she has commented on quite a few of my videos. So thank you, uh, so thank you, Sabrina, for commenting on my channels. That alone means a lot to me. But one of the things that she said was it was on the the photo mosaics parts of the Caribbean puzzle video. She said to me in the in my reply to her comment to never stop making videos and that's really surreal I think for any YouTuber to get no matter how big or small their channel is but it really did mean a lot to me and it really did make my day or night counts on how you want to see it because I think it was past midnight so either late night early morning however you guys want to view it it still made me smile it made my day slash night so thank you yeah, I can't say thank you, but regardless of me not being able to speak, speak. Thank you, Sabrina, for your comment. It really did mean a lot to me. And there's a bug <laughs> trying to ruin this moment. But yes, thank you, Sabrina. It does mean a lot to me. And it means a lot to me for all the likes, the views, and the comments I've been getting from you guys. So whether you guys should stick around for one video and you don't subscribe or you do subscribe it means a lot to me just to think that I am interesting to even 15 people is insane to think about because I'm really not not that much of an interesting person unless me not being able to speak being able to speak is interesting to you guys for some reason but regardless of that Thank you. So for any of you out there who are thinking about making a YouTube channel, I would say just do it. If you really do want to make a channel, just make sure you're doing it for all the right reasons. If you're just doing it to get famous and for views, I will say right now, don't make a channel. Because for me personally, that is one of the biggest turnoffs for me to check out a channel. If you're spamming, or if it's clear just doing it for money and views. Like Simon Toast, uh, like Simon Toast Ken said, he wanted to do it as a job, which is fine. Because like, he genuinely wants to do it and he genuinely, uh, he genuinely cares about his subscribers and all that. So I see no problem if you're like, why well, I, I want to do it for a job, not for a hobby. Understand that. Can't say you can't do that for a job or wanting to do it for a job. But make sure your heart is in the right place. That's all that matters. Because people can see right through it, and they will not want to check out your channel. Like, for me, for instance. for your love and support it does mean a lot to me even if you just watch my videos even if you don't subscribe just taking time out of your day to check out my videos and my channel means a lot to me even if you do not subscribe you all mean the absolute world to me and I hope that I can just at least make one of you smile and make one of your days better when you feel like you can't find a reason to make it better and I want you guys to know 
that I'm always here for you guys, even if you do not know me personally. If you ever need to talk about anything, you can send me a message on YouTube or in the comment sections, anywhere. I'm here for you guys. And just so you know, I'm sure maybe you guys probably know this by now, I don't judge. And I know that sometimes you want to get your feelings out, but you don't necessarily want to get reply back. Because I understand that completely. So if you want to just get your feelings out, I hope you guys have enough trust in me to send me a message. And if you don't want me to reply back to it, can you just get your feelings out? It's fine. But just know, whatever you guys tell me, if it's in confidence, you don't want anyone else to know about it, I won't tell a soul because I understand and I respect all of your privacies and I just want to help you the best that I can. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to cry. I couldn't have made it this far without all of you. So thank you all so, so much for all that you do. You guys do so much more than you might realize. And I'm sure that this year will be even better than last year's. So thank you all for motivating me and thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in this channel. I may be the one who makes the videos and uploads them here on this channel, but it's you guys who make the difference in this channel. You are the ones who are watching this, liking my videos, and that's just amazing and I can't thank you all enough for that. Just clicking on my videos because you think it's interesting for some reason, that's enough for me. But some of you guys like my videos and watch maybe all my videos. <laughs> Just know that this channel will be nothing without any of you. It's you guys who keep me going on days when I don't want to make videos, when I feel unmotivated. It's you guys who give me the motivation to make my videos. And I can't thank you enough for that. This channel may be one years old, but it's going so strong. And I'm sure that this year will be even stronger and even more amazing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help a lot and it does mean a lot to me. Don't feel as if you have to like this video or any of my other videos. Just watching it is truly enough. And I can't thank you enough for that. And in the comment section down below, let me know what one of your favorite moments was. I'd love to see what your favorite moments were over this year. And it doesn't have to be from my channel, it can just be from over the year altogether. I hope you're having an amazing day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! I love you all so much, and remember to smile, it suits you. Bye!